Hey everybody, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna throw a sh video on my uh, YouTube for uh, my truck. Just little upgrades and things I've done to it. Just so everybody can see, maybe get, steal some of my ideas. I don't know. So go for it if you want to steal steal an idea from me, or if you have any questions about my little things that I put on here, you can uh, you can ask, and I'll be sure to help out if I can. Uh, so we'll just start on the inside. Uh, I did the, uh, as you can see, the the fake wood grain dash cover inlay or whatever you call it. I got the off roam cell phone holder. I really like that. Holds my phone really well. I'm thinking about moving it to this side, but I'm not sure yet because I like it here. But then again, it might be good over there. I don't know. Uh, I got this little cheapo um, uh, mount that you drill in the. You drill into it and you mount it in there. And then I mounted a locking tablet holder up there. Um, and then I got the, obviously, dash cam there. Very wide angle dash cam. Uh, works really well. It's got Wi Fi and everything, so you can download the videos right off of it. Uh, I got CarPlay dongle. Works good. I like that. It's wireless. The wires. Um, remove the sunglass thing. Mounted in this guy, aux beam switch unit. I really like that. I think it's cool. Um, let's think. What else did I do? Oh, I, I got the um, LEDs in here. Got the LEDs on there. I say I'm on this one. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you could put hats. You could put hats up there. On the, <laughs> in case you didn't know, um, I'm working on getting some seat, some seat covers. Um, I'm working on that now. I uh, just don't know what brand I'm going to go with yet. I, I really like the Clasio or whatever it's called. But then again, there's a few other ones that look cool. But I'm I'm really wanting brown, to be honest with you. Uh, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a good one. So we'll see. Um, it also has... Uh, I'm trying to think what else I did to this thing on the inside. I think that's really... Yeah, I ain't did much on the inside. Um... We got, yeah, oh, that's what we got to do. Let me show you that. Um, it's got, uh, of course, the previous owner had put this in, in here, these sub subwoofer box. Um, and then, of course, on the other side, hold on. <clears throat> of course, on the other side is where you mounted the amp. He mounted the, the amp down here, and uh, I got some extra coolant back there as well. Um, so that's pretty much the inside stuff. Um, let me shut it off and we can look at the outside stuff. Well, I'll leave it running so you can see the lights and stuff. You know what I mean? That's kind of cool. Um, actually, I'm gonna need those side keys here. Hold on. Thank you guys. Just bear with me. This is live action. You guys know my videos and I do live action. Because that's the action is the best action. Live action is the best action. Um, anyways, so it's got uh, lights, a lot of lights on it. A lot of marker lights. Um, so we got, a, um, I think it's a body armor front bumper. The Harbor Freight winch. This was a TRD off-road, so it didn't have the aluminum skid plate. I bought the, uh, I bought it off the marketplace. Put it in there, took the old shitty ones off. It does have a, a Iron Man suspension, uh, coil overs in the front, and rear shocks in the back. Um, it has the uh, sumo bump stops. I also took the springs and everything apart on a coilover and painted them. It's got cheap coil, uh, cheap um, A-arms, no sway bar, like I said. I think I got it about two and a half inches of lift out of it right now. Um, it's got uh, 55, 85, 16s, factory Toyota trail wheels. Um, that's a 33 inch tire. It rubs a little bit when I'm flexing, uh, 
off road it rubs right here. I can cut that and it wouldn't rub anymore. So I just haven't done it. It don't bother me any. Um, four wheel parts uh, piece. Uh, what is it called? Uh, rock sliders. These things are stout. <laughs> now up on the frame. They're really, really beefy. I've hit some big boulders with that, and it holds up really nicely. Um, I got this roof rack here mounted. I was thinking about putting the rooftop tent up here, but I don't know. I don't do much camping. I don't think I need it. Um, but then I got floodlights mounted there, and they're I can still they're tight enough, but I, loose enough I can move them if I want to aim them. Um, I put uh, drop brackets on here for the emergency brake, and then I got. Uh, Extend it for the brake lines. Extends the brake lines up. Because uh, I got rear lift. I got the uh, rough country um, three three and a half inch leaf spring or three and a half inch lift leaf springs with the uh, sumos and the uh, the e bolt kit, the flip kit. Like I said, it's uh, Iron Man shocks in the back there. Um, and then uh, four wheel parts rear bumper. I really like it. It's a pretty stout bumper. And the baiting on the tire swings on the back. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Oracle tail lights. I added, like, like the front. I added these red ones in the back instead of the yellow ones that were up front. Uh, let's see. LEDs in the license plate. It's got uh, Magnaflow, Overlander, Exhaust. Uh, these are CB antennas, but they're dummies right now. I don't have any radios hooked up here. I'm working on that. It's one of the next mod things I'm buying. Uh, of course, the snorkel, cheap, the cheap Chinese snorkel. I mean, works good. That was a pain that I asked to put on though. Uh, I also chopped it, this part right here. I cut it down. So that way this this thing right here, the mushroom cat, didn't sit so high. It sits lower and it looks nicer. It's, it's a better, it's a better looking, uh, it's a better looking in, in general. Uh, same thing over here in the it's just going to change eyes. lights these are these are dual colored lights so they're amber right now and um and then when i go to high beam let me turn auto high beams off all right and when you go whoop. high beams ready high beams off oh, i gotta turn high headlights on dummy sorry i'm a dummy <clears throat> and when you go high beams they go yellow, or not yellow, they go clear. They're white. And I really like that because it, it really puts out some super bright light, like super amount of light. And if I need more light, you know, I can always hit my other, my other lights up there. Um, which, you know, I got a lot of lights up there. Um, I'm going to show you under the hood, and I'm also going to show you my, my air, so I can show you how I, air down when I air down how I air back up I have a uh, onboard air compressor and tank back here here's my tank um, and then my compressor is right here I need to get something to fill that seal that hole so it just doesn't rub these wires too bad you know, they are rubbing but it's not it's got the protective on there I just haven't done it yet it's on the list, just haven't done it. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, this thing's one of the cheap ones. It's not the real ARB, it's a knockoff. But so far, it's been working great for me. Um, working great, no, no sense in getting a, a good one if it's working. But yeah, it goes out right here. Also have a drain valve down there so I can drain the water out of it. This is an aluminum tank, weighs like nothing, and it won't rot from the water if there's water in there. 
it won't rust it out um, yeah that's that the other box just has tools in it hand tools so in case I need need it oh that's what I forgot to show you these boxes are wired the boxes are wired <coughs> to my lights so when I turn the lights on down here are the jellyfish shooters when I turn that on uh, there's lights in here and it lights up the boxes on both sides so that's cool um, I'm trying to think what else we got that's really it to be honest with you um, show you under the hood Cheap Chinese uh, $20 air horn mounted there. Let's see if it's in there and then the compressor's in here. Focus uh, HPS intake here. This thing, this did a lot. It really woke it up. And then my dual oil canisters, catch cans. Everybody gives giving me heat on those, saying you didn't need two of them. But what it is my money bitch um, switch struts I got my box mounted there for the ox beam lights and uh, yeah I like it my hands it's, it's a it's set up quite nicely it's set up quite nicely but uh, this that's it guys uh, that's really it there's not much to it I think I pretty much went over everything like I said I'm I'm open to suggestions on, on anything you guys might know um, that you know I'm open to suggestions on, on things that you might say I should get you know if there's something you would recommend I'm talking like seat cover wise or really anything uh, and maybe radio wise too if you guys know any good radios like GM I think it's a GMSR radio or GRSM radio. Um, and then a CB radio. Is what I'm, I'm trying to find a good CB radio too. But uh, anyways, just some outside shots of it. You guys can look at it and gawk at it. It's a pretty truck. I added the grill and... Uh, oh, it's got a bug deflector. I forgot about that. That was already on here though. But... Um, Anyways, move one from back here. I'm trying to find paint that matches the wheels, that bronze, so I can paint the logo, the Tacoma badges, all the badges on it, paint them that bronze color. I just haven't been able to find a paint that matches that bronze yet. So I'm gonna keep looking, I'll find it eventually. And when I do, I'll let you know if anybody's interested. But that's my truck, guys. Yeah. But I know it's not gonna work good. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right.